Hey everybody, it's Ryan. This is part two of my review of the Pimroni Blink T, where I show you the example scripts that got installed when we did the Blink T Python library in my previous video. Let's go ahead and check out these examples. So what I'm going to do is go through all the examples that come with the Blink T so you guys can kind of see what it's capable of. So first thing I'm going to do is log into Raspberry Pi. After you're logged in, we need to get into the examples folder. I'm going to go to examples. And then we're going to load up the first one here, which is a pretty cool one, which is the 1D Tetris. So this will basically show random colored lights falling into place and clearing occasionally. So it's kind of basically just a cool little Tetris. Now in order to stop the script, we're gonna hit Control C on your keyboard. And then we're gonna try the next one, which is the binary clock. And this will show times in hours, minutes, and seconds using local time. So this is the binary clock. It's pretty cool. Again, to stop that, you do Control C. Next up is the binary clock meld. And this is basically shows times in shows time in hours in red, minutes in green, and seconds in blue, using local time as well. I'll do Control C again to stop. And it will load up Blink T Thermo. And this will draw a graph of the temperature based on the open weather data for what city you're in. So um, in what city I am in right now, it is currently 86 degrees. So it's going to show a nice dark red. Um, I believe when it gets down into around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, it would show uh, more of a yellow color and kind of, you know, change based on the actual weather. So that's kind of a cool little script. Pretty easy to set up. Just follow the instructions. Control C again to stop that. Next up is a pretty cool one as well. This is the candle example that basically makes the LEDs look like a flickering candle. It's pretty cool. Control C again to stop. Next up is the cheer lights. So what Cheer Lights does is it basically reads Twitter and anytime it sees a tweet with the hashtag Cheer, Light, Cheer Lights and a specific color, it will change that color. So it's also a really cool um, use of Twitter and the Twitter API looking for a specific hashtag. Next up is the CPU load script. Now what this does this will show a graph of CPU usage as a percentage on the Raspberry Pi. So that's what that does. And then now we have the CPU temp of the Raspberry Pi shown as a graph. So the hotter your Pi gets, the more lights will get added on there on the graph. That's pretty cool. Control C to stop that. Now we'll do the gradient graph, which will pulse a rainbow across the blink T and back again. So it kind of just goes up and down. You can kind of visualize this maybe being used for an audio VU meter. That'd be kind of cool. Next example that they offer is the graph. And the graph will pulse a magenta graph across the blink T and back again. Next up is Larson. And this should basically remind you of Knight Rider. Definitely a favorite show of mine growing up. Okay, and then we're going to do Control C to stop that. Next up will be the Larson in a hue. So imagine Knight Rider, but with color. Pretty cool. 
These lights are extremely bright. Hopefully the camera is doing it some good justice. Okay, next up on the list is memory load. And this is gonna graph out the memory load of the Raspberry Pi. So, and this is being shown on a graph as a percentage. Next up is the Morse code. It'll show a message in Morse code and you can change on line 40 if you want it to say a different message. Right now I just have it on the default message. Next up is pulse, and this will pulse the cyan light from the center pixer, pixels out to the outer edge. It's kind of a cool little strobing effect. All right, next up is rainbow. And the rainbow shows a gently moving rainbow along the blink T. Nothing too fancy there, just a little rainbow. Next up is the random blink. And this will show you the uh, yellow light. It's blinking randomly like a paparazzi in a crowd. Next is the random blink colors, which is the same as the one that we just watched there, except for imagine the paparazzi with color. Kind of a cool little effect there. Next up is the resistor clock script. Let's go load that in. And the resistor clock shows the time of pairs and pixels using resistor codes. Uh, brown light representing a one, which the brown color is definitely a little bit harder to see than any of the others, but that's what this is doing. Next up is RGB. And what this script allows you to do is basically specify an RGB color. So I'm gonna load up the color 22, 55, 128. So it's gotta space it out after the script. I'm going to push enter there. And that will display the RGB color that I went ahead and put it. Next up is solid colors. And solid colors are gonna flash green, or sorry, flash red, green, blue on repeat. And these colors can be changed to whatever you'd like. Just an example. Last, one of my favorite examples that they gave us is the Twitter monitor. Let's go ahead and load that up. Oops, try it one more time. Clear that. There we go. Now the Twitter monitor is set up that anytime it sees the hashtag Corona on Twitter, it will flash. And you can change this to any color you want. You can also change for the length of time of the flash. Right now I just have it set to do, um, I believe the normal color red. And anytime it sees the word Corona, it just goes ahead and flash, which is a pretty cool little uh, Python script.